Okay, so um, I th we will uh, go ahead and open the meeting and the uh, of the uh, zoning board of appeals. Um, my name is David Bloomberg, and the members here voting at uh, the hearing today are Maureen Scanlon and Elizabeth Silver and myself, and then Carolyn Misch is here from the Office of Planning and Sustainability providing staff support. Notice of today's hearing was published on February 28th and March 3rd. Um, I will quickly review the instructions um, for the virtual meeting. Um, we have two items on the agenda. Um, and the first one, I understand a request has been submitted for a continuance to March 24th. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, the second one, I'm assuming we'll proceed with, um, the one having to do with the sign application at Familiars in Northampton. So um, in each case, we will um, start by asking if there are any members of the public here who want to address the board on matters unrelated to any agenda items. Um, and then when we get to the agenda items, we'll ask the applicant or the applicant's representative to present a brief uh, description of the application. We'll take questions from the board first for the applicant. And, um, and then members of the public will have a chance to raise their hand and uh, address the board on that application. And um, once public comment is over, the board will typically vote to close the hearing. And, and after that, um, we won't have any more input from the applicant or the public. Um, and um, I'll ask Carolyn to assist with unmuting people uh, who want to speak at the appropriate times. Um, so first of all, I'll ask if there are any members of the public here who want to address the board on matters unrelated to the two agenda items that we have on for tonight, um, which relate to um, the, the agenda items are site plan and demolition of an existing house at um, 107 William Street, Northampton. And the, um, oh, am I looking at the wrong one? Yeah. yeah, that's planning board. <laughs> Whoops, I opened up the planning board agenda. So hold on, I've got it. Um, uh, I guess just the special permit for the additional wall sign by Familiar's Coffee. But we also have the other item that we're, where there's been a request to continue. So, um, and that one is um, a continuation of a hearing from January 27 for a finding at one main road. So first, Carolyn, do we see anyone waiting in the waiting room who might want to address just pu general comments from the public to the board? I don't see any raised okay. hands, no. Okay, so next it's after 5.30. So um, we do have on today's agenda, a continuation of a hearing from January 27th for a finding at one made road main road in West Hampton. And I understand, Carolyn, that a request has been submitted by that applicant to continue that hearing for two weeks until March 24. Correct. Um, correct. So I think we would just need, uh, I guess, a motion, a second and a roll call vote to grant the request for a continuance for that application to March 24. I assume at 530. Do we know if there's anything else on? Or um, I uh, actually, we do not have, um, I'm sorry, we do um, have two items, um, but I would recommend uh, 530 and so we'll um, we can start push with this the one. other. One. Yeah. Okay, we'll start with this one. Okay, so do we have a motion to continue the application for one main road in West Hampton to March 27th at 530? March 24th. Just March 24th at 530. Can I ask a question first? Do we sure. know that we will have a quorum that night? I, I may have a conflict. Okay. I, I can be, do you, Elizabeth, are you available March 24th? I believe so. Yeah, I think so. Um, I can 
make myself available. I'm leaving early the next day on a trip, but but uh, um, if this is so a if, if necessary, I can be there. But I, I, this is a continuation of a hearing that I don't believe I was part of in the first instance. There hasn't been never a open. Yet. Oh, it was, oh, it was never oh, open because oh, oh, at the oh, original okay. date, a continuation was requested and granted. Okay, so I was not at the one where that happened. Right. So, okay, all right. Well, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, and then I'll we have the other two and, members, so I think we right. Should so be... I think we'll be okay because I can I can absolutely be available if needed. Okay. So uh, so moved. On that? So moved. Okay. Second. Second. Okay, and a roll call, uh, Carolyn, please. Um, Elizabeth Silver. Yes. Maureen Scanlon. Yes. And David Bloomberg. Yes. So that's unanimous. That I that matter is continued until March twenty fourth at five thirty p.m. Um, and the other item on the agenda for tonight was a request for a special permit for an additional wall sign by Familiars Coffee at 6 Strong Avenue, map ID 32A-154 Northampton. Um, do we have the applicant or a representative of the applicant? To just briefly, uh, we have the application, but briefly tell us what the request is about. Sure, I'm uh, Danny McColgan, uh, one of the two owners at Familiars Coffee and Tea, and this is Isaac, um, the other owner from Familiars, um, Isaac Weiner. Um, and uh, essentially we are looking to request uh, permission to install a second blade sign um, over the uh, primary entrance to the business, which is on the side of the diner. Um, uh, this is because that's where the accessible ramp is and that's the accessible entrance. Um, and we've had some challenges over the past few years trying to direct traffic away from the kind of iconic front doors on the diner itself, which can only be accessed up um, some stairs. Um, and we are trying to get people to more naturally come to that side entrance and also not to come to the entrance on the other side of the building, which is unfortunately closer to Main Street um, because that is our kitchen entrance. And we've had some uh, problems with customers trying to walk in um, right into the kitchen, which as I'm sure everyone can imagine is not, not the best uh, setup um, or way for folks to get introduced to us. Um, so we, you know, we were successful in getting our first permit for the wall sign. Um, and I'm happy to share my screen for folks who don't know so they can get kind of an image of what that looks like. Um, we do think it's a very aesthetically pleasing sign. Um, and it, we are essentially just looking to add uh, an identical sign closer to the actual entrance itself. So you get people walking down Strong Avenue who see that sign turn toward this other beautiful sign and realize that's where the door is. Okay, thank you. Any questions from board members? No, I mean, we've seen the pictures. Uh, I did like that this way part, but you know, <laughs> I understand that's not part of it. So no, I don't have any questions. My, uh, my only question is just, although I've been by there so many times, what is the first blade sign? You actually have a blade sign? We do. I um, I can share my screen. I have that up um, if folks would like to look at that. Okay. Sure, sure. If, if that can work. It is telling me host disabled attendee screen sharing. Um, I, think I you sent to... you, I made you co-host. I think you so made Maureen way. a co-host. Oh, there you go. Oh. Now okay. it should work, yeah. Okay. Isn't it the same sign? The same sign just in a different place or did I misunderstand that? Um, it is the same sign in a different place, but um, it is it is a blade sign. It's a relatively new installation that went in over um, the summer. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Um, uh, Let's see if that worked for us. Let's 
that is our blade sign if everyone's able to see that. Yeah, thank, mm -hmm. you. thank you. Um so it's a it's actually a 24 karat gold leaf on a black enamel sign um, with a custom made steel and brass bracket um, that was put together from um, by Jess Wiseman at Hired Hand Signs. She's been doing some work around town. Um, so you've probably seen it elsewhere. Um, and she would just be recreating that exact same sign and putting it in this location. Great, thank you. And that's your primary storefront sign. That is correct, uh, yes. So in addition to probably having something on that front door that says go around to the side, Right, it says okay. um, not an entrance, please use side door, but sometimes it can be hard to get folks to really read the words on the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, uh, none of this is particularly um, necessary for our assessment, but it, it's helpful. Sure. Just it, to understand the uh, challenges you're address, you're looking at and how to address them. So thank you for that. Oh, of course, anything I can do to help. It's a lovely and, and, sign. Thank you. Yes. And what? And what about? Um, I know my mouth. Honestly, your coffee. My mouth is watering. <laughs> just looking at your sign. Seriously, it's like Pavlovian. But um, but but what? Uh, and what? What will the? I know I saw something about lighting or backlighting for the new mm -hmm. sign. Is is that something you can address? Uh, that sh there shouldn't be anything about lighting or backlighting for mm -hmm. the sign. We do have um, the old. Um, box sign above the diner um, that is backlit, um, but that was approved back when we originally opened. Um, and because of the angle of the roof lines of the building, once you're on our side of the street, you don't, you can't actually see that sign. Um, you can only see that from farther away, like across the street or over on Main Street. Um, and we're trying to use these blade signs to capture the first blade sign to capture that traffic already walking down Strong mm -hmm. Avenue, and then this second one to direct them to the actual entrance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Thanks. And, and it's not illuminated actually, at all. They won't actually see that second entrance until they get past the building itself. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions from board members? No. no? Uh, are there any members of the public? here to address the board about this application? Anyone raising their hand or oh, uh, electronically? Okay. Um, so um, unless we want to have some discussion first, um, do we want to just have a motion on the application? Yeah, motion to close the uh, uh, The motion to, yeah, thank you, yeah, close, close the public, the public hearing. hearing. Yeah. Second. Okay, and we just need to roll call uh, on the motion to close the public hearing. Uh, Elizabeth Silver? Yes. Maureen Scanlon? Yes. And David Bloomberg? Yes, so the public hearing is closed. Now a motion on the application. Sure, I'll move to accept the application for a permit for the second projecting blade sign at Six Strong Amp. Second. And another roll call, please. Elizabeth Silver? Yes. Maureen Scanlon? Yes. And David Bloomberg? Yes. So that's unanimous. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Um, so let's see. Uh, I don't think we have any minutes. Uh, we talked yeah. a little bit about the 24th, but we'll sort that out by email. Good Just luck, coverage. guys. Thank yes. you so yeah. much. Good luck. Very excited for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, so I so guess I don't we can, have guess we can close. Else yeah, so yep. I guess we can close. Motion the, uh, to adjourn. Adjourn. Second. Second. Okay, and a roll call on the motion to adjourn. Elizabeth Silver. Yes. Maureen Scanlon. Yes. And David Bloomberg. Yes, that's unanimous. Thank you, everybody. Great. That was easy. Okay.